I go body Maryland. I go go nyongol Bama. Ana bana loka fimba ngadi bajeko ngojagari. Our waterway is our waterfall. It's a giver of life. We survive off the land, and it's our culture. It's our identity. That's why we have to look after the land, Mubu. We're going to speak our own Gugu. We're going to teach our children that is strong so we can communicate with the land, with the spirit, with each other, with the old people. Today it's at risk. We are every day living on the land. We see the changes, the movements. We also work with scientists. We find it relevant because they have the data system. So the scientists come in and they teach us also how to do the monitoring and assessment. So we work in partnership. We were looking for a person to come and do the water samples for us. And then Queensland Parks and Wildlife gave me Christine's name. Well, 2002, we started monitoring the Annan River, and it wouldn't have been long after that that I made contact with, with Marilyn, but particularly when she was set up with a ranger base there on the Annan River, right at one of the sites where we'd been monitoring. So we ended up training Marilyn and her ranger groups to do the monitoring, so we no longer had to be there all the time. When I was running the ranger program, I wanted the scientists to come and learn our way as well. But because of lack of recognition, we just kept on working with scientists. It's everyone benefits because I, I share the tools that I have from Western science so they can then have the proof that this is what's happening. But then I learned so much more from them about the whole ecosystem and how it works, you know, how they measure the health of the rivers and the wetlands and what it means to them spiritually and culturally. We are rainforest people, and we have our own rules and customs. So there's a process that we follow in cleaning the land. In the wet season, we go out and start pulling weeds out, the weeds that are not native, and leave them till the dry season comes through. When the dry season comes in, that's an indicator, now it's time to burn. But in the burning process, we have workers on the country to make sure that fire is controlled and managed properly. What's changed in Cape York, the movement of weeds through the country, the fire regimes are a big indicator of, well, they're a big impact, I should say, on water quality. So whether the fires are burning early in the year or late in the dry season makes a big difference to you know, what the ground cover is, how much grass is there by walking on country. We monitor how the waterfall area and the river all the way down has not been affected by erosions. We have sensitive soils up here, so any land disturbance can cause erosion, which increases the amount of sediment flushing into the rivers. The scientists, they, when they do their work, they just focus on one subject. For example, if they're monitoring the water, they just only come in and do the water monitoring and testing, okay? But we, Bama, we look at the land as a whole. All our land is connected. Everything flows down through the Wobuja and it goes out to the ocean and it'll affect the coral under the Jalon. Well, we look at the whole river, but at the moment I'm focusing largely on what's coming out of the river and going out to the reef. It's completely connected, as Marilyn has described. What, what's happening at the top is what ends up down at the mouth. The die-offs that we've seen on the reef for the past two years, if that continues, then there will be a huge shift in biodiversity and I would say a loss of certain species. If we don't look after the water for the Erie, our food sources, especially the fish, 
species will disappear. When I first moved to Cape York, I was told by most of the indigenous people that I spoke to that they were pretty much just being used by scientists, that scientists would come, ask for their help, ask for their information, and then go away and they'd never hear from them again. We have both knowledges, the scientific knowledge and the Bama traditional knowledge. We must put them together. Muruba. Bubu binal bamanga. But bamaga binal maga bubuku. If jana binal gari, ngar balmal. Bubu ngar balmal tu jananga. Bubu la binal gari mal de jananga. Gapanji bananji. We are givers, we are takers, we need to look after the land.